Middletown church members are outraged after a church building is vandalized with vulgar images and offensive language. Yeah, and it all turns out that the church was not alone here. Three buildings were actually vandalized. WLWT News Voice Tammy Mutasa is here for us now. She went digging for answers for us today. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Sheree. It wasn't just the church spray painted with 666, but also a retirement center. Church members are upset that sacred property was desecrated. It makes me feel violated and it makes me feel kind of wrong. It makes me feel offended. It made me feel very, very offended. Church members are hurt and angry. The number 666 and offensive language splashed across the Spring Hill Church of Christ building, sanctuary entrance, and bus. Especially going over there spray painting 666 on the church that I grew up in. That's wrong. That's very, very wrong to the, to the bottom of my stomach. Police say the pastor discovered the vandalism early Sunday morning. Workers only had two hours to clean up the obscene messages before services started. It's hard to talk about. I mean, if you want me to be honest, it is hard to talk about. It wasn't just the church. The Liberty Retirement Community of Middletown was also tagged. This homeowner's garage and street signs were all riddled with images and languages so vulgar, we blurred them out. The derogatory uh, depictions in the words were, uh, were not to be seen by, shouldn't have been seen by any kid. Middletown investigators are following leads, but they say the vandalism spree is an isolated incident, the one with serious consequences. The charge would be desecration. It's a felony because it's a, against the church. I mean, you know, I've had to pay and atone for my sins anytime I'd have to do them, so right on to the other man. Now, police say the damage to all three properties is more than $1,000. Tammy Mutasa, WLWT News 5. Tammy, thank you. Investigators telling us today there is no surveillance video, so they're asking for your help tonight. If you know anything, you're asked to call police.